Camilla is a bookshop owner. She doesn't feel good today. So she asks her staff members to take care of the customers and leaves for home at noon. Later that day, at around 8 p.m., Camilla receives a message from her manager. Everything is quiet. Can we close earlier? Before closing, Camilla asks the manager to send her a picture of the shop. He sends this photo. Everything seems empty, but still, something feels odd. Can you help Camilla figure out what? Take a look at the clock on the wall. It's half past four. They didn't take this picture at 8 p.m. Liars. Oh. The next morning, Camilla feels much better. She's working in her garden. She's picking some apples and watering flowers while her cat is walking around. Meanwhile, her neighbor Jeff is mowing his lawn while his dog is playing nearby. Who's not smart? Jeff, it's dangerous to use a lawnmower when animals are so close. After that, Camilla goes to her favorite park to read a book. Take a look at this scene. Can you figure out who's in bigger danger? The young lady on the tree is risking her health. She's about to fall. The branch she's climbing will soon crack. Oh no. The local ice cream salesman announces a special offer. If you crack my riddle, you'll get a free serving of ice cream. Camilla agrees. Here's the riddle. In the ocean, there's an island. On the island, there is a house. In the center of the house, there's a glass of water. Inside the glass of water, there's a coin. The question is, what's in the middle of the ocean? The answer is the letter E. Camilla keeps on walking and approaches the local harbor. And soon she notices a large ship. It's a sunny, windless day. Suddenly, the ship starts to sink. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no storm and the skies are blue. And yet, the ship goes down in front of everyone. What's going on? Nothing unexpected, the submarine's captain just ordered the crew to dive. Camilla is walking down a long road. She's tired and wants to go to the mall, but there are no cars around and her phone isn't working. Camilla sits down on the road because she can't walk anymore. At this moment, she hears a vehicle approaching. A big bus appears on the road. It stops and opens the doors, but Camilla doesn't get inside. She notices a car and a motorbike approaching. They stop by her too, and all the drivers offer to give Camilla a ride. What should she do? Choosing the bus seems normal, but one of its tires is flat. The trip won't last long. Take a look at the biker. His face is hidden by a helmet. But he has hooves instead of feet, oh. so Camilla should choose the car. Camilla arrives at the shopping mall. She visits the local construction department to purchase some tools for her shop. Can you help her find these three items? Here they are. Camilla discovers a mysterious extension in the construction department leading to a room filled with gold coins, diamonds, and other expensive metals. Ooh. As soon as the guards spot Camilla, he traps her in the room and locks the door. He says, There's only one way to survive in that dark chamber. You must eat one of these muffins. If you eat the wrong one, you won't make it. But if you pick the right one, you'll be free to go. Oh my god. The first muffin turns you into moss. The second one turns you into a badger. And the third muffin will turn you into a snake. Can you help Camilla choose the best option? Mm -hmm. 
Moss can't survive without the sun for long. Snakes need the sun to regulate their body's temperature. She should choose the muffin that turns you into a badger. These creatures can live in the dark for long periods of time. Thankfully, Camilla manages to escape. She decides to hire some handymen to paint her bookshop. Hello. Liam can paint it in just three hours. And it takes six hours for Frank to complete the same task. Hello. How long would it take for both guys to complete the same job together? Two hours. Liam, who could complete the entire job in three hours alone, would complete two-thirds of the job in two hours. Meanwhile, Frank would complete the remaining one-third of the job during the same two hours. Ooh. The handyman paint the bookshop. Camilla orders a pizza to celebrate this event. She cuts it into six pieces, and each staff member, including herself, gets exactly one piece. Camilla leaves for a minute, then she returns and discovers that someone took a bite of her slice. Really? She questions all five suspects. Liam says, I have very bad teeth, miss. They can't handle more than one piece of pizza a day. Frank says, Sorry, I was texting my girlfriend. I didn't pay attention to the table at all. The shop manager says, I was chatting with our delivery service. The salesman says, I'm a vegan, so I neither touched my own slice of pizza nor yours. And the cleaning lady says, I ate my pizza very quickly and went to wash my hands right away. Who's lying? The salesman. If he didn't touch the pizza, why are his fingers stained with tomato sauce? Camilla invites her two besties over for dinner. They're getting ready. Can you guess who's more likely to be late? Kelly. She's charging her cell phone, but the cord is unplugged. Oh. Finally, Kelly and Shelly arrive at Camilla's place. They show her some pictures of them wearing expensive evening dresses, but in fact, only one of them is very rich, and the other one is pretty broke. Can you guess who is who? Shelly is broke. She's a cleaning lady in this hotel. She took off her uniform, put it on the bed, and put on one of the guest's dresses. That's why the size doesn't match. Oh my god. Camilla offers fresh juices to her guests. Kelly says, I'm allergic to all kinds of citrus fruits, but I can't go a day without something orange. Oh. Can you explain this? Easy peasy. Kelly is talking about the color. Ooh. Camilla invites Kelly and Shelly to swim in her jacuzzi. They have a lot of fun, but after bathing, Camilla realizes that her expensive gold pendant is missing. She questions her besties. Shelly says, I didn't even notice that you were wearing any jewelry. And Kelly says, Don't worry, darling. It was ugly anyway. I'll buy you a new one. What? Who stole the pendant? No, buddy. The pendant is still in the jacuzzi. Take a look at these bubbles. The next day, Camilla is having a business meeting at a coffee shop. She meets three people. Love, Maya, and Kyle. One of them is a boss. Another one, a hiring manager. And the third one, a designer. The boss always tells the truth. The manager always lies. And the designer can either lie or tell the truth. Love says... Kyle is our manager. Maya says, Love is our boss. And Kyle says, I'm a designer. Can you help Camilla figure out who is who? Maya can't be the boss because the boss is always truthful. Kyle can't be the boss either since his statement would then be a lie. 
Therefore, Love is the boss, Maya is the designer, and Kyle is the manager. Camilla wants to test the wits of her future business partners, so she says, I know what 69, 11, and 88 have in common. What about you? They are all read the same either from right to left or upside down. Camilla goes to the coffee shop bathroom and gets lost in the basement. She needs to enter one of these three doors to escape. A hungry cougar is behind the first door. A sly sea siren guards the second door. Her songs can drive anyone crazy. Huge venomous snakes are waiting behind the third door. Which way is more or less safe? Camilla should choose the second door. The siren lives in the sea, so she's probably not dangerous anymore. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.